Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Moo here. I just have a little bit of a public service announcement here. And this is the XM radio, Sirius XM. Now, I was a fan of Sirius XM radio for many, many years, but before it was Sirius XM, it was XM radio. So I subscribed to their radio service for many years. I love their comedy channel, especially when I was driving so much. And, um, you know, I use their service on multiple different platforms, including online streaming. I had their PC, uh, USB version radio, where you connect it uh, to receive the satellite signals directly from the satellites directly into my computer. And uh, I could listen, record, and schedule and all that stuff. Anyway, fast forward about 10, 12 years now at Sirius XM. And I, for whatever reason, and I got uh, an offer, maybe it was through Facebook or something, for the free online streaming trial. Now, I thought at the time, maybe the trial was that, uh, well, at least a frequently asked question said something about, hey, don't worry about it after your trial's over, you're not going to get paid, or, I, I mean, you don't, you're not going to get charged or billed for anything. So... Um, I signed up for it about a month ago, and uh, I, you know, I did, I did the free online streaming trial. It was like 300 some channels. It was a lot of stuff. Seemed like a really good deal. I'm here to tell you, don't do it. It's kind of frustrating in order to uh, go in and cancel because one, you'd have to make a phone call, or two, you got to chat with customer service. Your experience may vary. Um, but it was still frustrating for me because when I signed up for it, I was able to immediately start streaming, which was great in that part. I had my username, password, and everything all set up because I have it automatically saved. But after that first time streaming, I wasn't actually able to get back in. And I thought that this trial was going to be one of those things where it would just fizzle away and ask you to go and sign up for more. But no, that's not the case because one, they didn't take my payment information and two, uh, apparently in the fine print, I was actually signing up for them to bill me. So today, July 4th, I got a bill that said, Hey, look, I owe them $8 and some odd cents, which, you know, I was surprised about. So I logged back into XM radio and they needed to confirm a bunch of things, including before I could continue to manage my account, by the way, it, they need a radio ID. Now, since I signed up for the streaming only account, there was no radio ID for me to go ahead and submit. So I was stuck there. And I think I distinctly remember trying to do this that first week or second week and I couldn't get back in. So I just gave up at that point. But finally, they sent me a bill. So I went in and I chatted with them. It took, let's see, it took from, well, okay. It only took about 16 minutes to cancel, but that was still relatively annoying. I had to do it all through the chat session. And basically I just have to kept saying, look, I'd like to cancel. They got to give their spiel about their stuff. It takes about a couple minutes for them to look up all my details. And basically I just, just kept saying, look, I'm trying to cancel. It wasn't working out. Uh, I, I don't care if I get access. 300 channels that doesn't really matter to me because it just wasn't working out and they had to tell me i can listen to alexa and other streaming devices i'm like no no thank you i want to cancel finally it gets up to the point where um the customer service person whose name is dixon which i don't believe says i will pay eight dollars and seventy cents uh every month in order to do all this stuff and he finally says sure we respect your decision at the end of the day it is an important decision to choose what is best for you. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Anyway, I, I asked to cancel effective immediately whenever possible. So it took him about two or three minutes. Thankfully, my remaining balance is only 56 cents because uh, I guess you work it out um, with the amount of time that lapsed after my trial. I still owe them 56 cents. They gave me a confirmation for the, for the uh, cancellation, but of course I'm looking at my chat log and that type of stuff is completely X'd out. They don't even give you that information. Anyway, they should send this follow-up email stuff to my address and account within five business days. You know, I'm not super confident that they took care of this for me. I feel like I got to contact them again about it. This is extremely annoying. This kind of reminds me of, you know, back then, remember Columbia House, BMG Music? You sign up, it's like, don't pay us any money now or pay 99 cents. We'll give you 10 free CDs or whatever you want, which each CD might have one song you might like. And then good luck trying to cancel. And they'll keep sending you stuff. Well, I really hope that they can take care of this time. Now, on a different occasion, for a different car, I had XM Radio. And this is just a couple years ago. I didn't really have any trouble canceling. Um, I don't know why the case this is. This is just that online free uh, trial offer that, you know, I, I, I just, I don't know why. It's just annoying. And then on top of this, once they have their information, they'll keep spamming you about it. And let me see if I can go ahead and try to remove myself from this list. Anyway, bottom line is 
just make sure that you think very carefully before you think about signing up for an XM radio trial, even if it's completely free. So I'm going to remove myself from the, the email list and uh, hopefully I won't get any of these uh, offers anymore. And you know, I did like XM radio. It's just that it just wasn't convenient for me to use at the time. And also my car doesn't have XM radio uh, built in right now. Maybe if I start driving a lot more, I might go back to XM radio. That's that's just the main. So anyways, think twice. Probably don't do it. If you do, just prepare to waste half an hour, or maybe more of your life trying to cancel the service later if you choose that you want to cancel or change something. All right, I hope you're having a good and safe holiday weekend. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.